Ever come across a movie that made you question everything you knew? Well, brace yourself because Shock Corridor is here to take you on a roller coaster ride of emotions. Released in 1963, this film delves deep into the world of mental illness and the lengths one would go to uncover the truth. But it's not all serious business. Stay tuned because there are plenty of funny, shocking, and sad facts waiting to be unveiled. When did you first watch this movie? Whether it was decades ago or just yesterday, Shock Corridor has a way of sticking with you long after the credits roll. It's the kind of film that sparks conversations and leaves a lasting impact. Do you have a personal story about how the movie has influenced your life? Maybe it challenged your perceptions or opened your eyes to new ideas. Whatever the case may be, we want to hear about it. Share your memories and experiences in the comments below. So, grab your popcorn and get ready for a wild ride. It's a film like no other, and you won't want to miss a minute of it. Stay tuned for more insights and stories. Shock Corridor, released in 1963, was quite influential back then. Directed by Samuel Fuller, the movie explored mental illness and journalism ethics. Though some critics didn't love it at first, it left a lasting impression on cinema. During its release, the movie got people talking about mental health treatment. It showed a journalist pretending to be insane to uncover a murder in a mental hospital. This shocked viewers and got them thinking. The film's raw look at mental hospitals challenged what people thought and made them more aware of mental health issues. In pop culture, Shock Corridor became a reference for psychological thrillers and movies dealing with social issues. It influenced later works that explored similar ideas about sanity, identity, and the effects of society. The movie inspired spin-offs, adaptations, and even things you can buy. It paved the way for more psychological movies and affected directors and storytellers for years. Through its gritty story and honest look at mental illness, Shock Corridor still connects with audiences today. It reminds us of how complex the human mind is and why empathy and understanding matter. Shock Corridor, directed by Samuel Fuller, faced distribution challenges despite its critical acclaim. It was reissued alongside The Naked Kiss in 1965 after Allied Artists' initial release. However, both films struggled to secure UK cinema certificates until 1990. Fuller disapproved of Allied Artists' marketing approach, which he felt exploited the film's content. The film's journey to recognition underscores the complexities of navigating the film industry's landscape. In the movie, they talk about the Big Buddha and Kamakura, a giant bronze statue in Japan, which adds some cultural flavor to the story. To make certain scenes look deeper, they hired shorter people. This choice made the movie look good, and showed how much the filmmakers paid attention to small things to make the audience like it more. At the start of the film, you see a picture of Samuel Fuller in a strip club. It's a little detail, but it's interesting. It's a way of showing respect to him because he was important in movies. These small details make the story more interesting. As the story goes on, you get more into the world of Shock Quarter. Every scene and detail helps solve the main mystery. The movie looks great, and it gives a nod to old movies, which makes it more fun. To sum up, Shock Corridor is a great example of good movie making. It mixes mystery, drama, and cool visuals to make a movie you won't forget. It pays attention to small things and has nods to old movies. It's a good movie that shows how to make a movie well. In Shock Corridor, the famous rain sequence was filmed after production wrapped up. Samuel Fuller, the director, covered the set with tarp and used high-powered water hoses for the effect. Despite having minor roles in other films, this movie marked the actor's biggest role. He portrayed Wilkes, the villain and head hospital attendant. Peter Breck, who played the protagonist Johnny Barrett, faced physical challenges during filming. He had to be hospitalized after the shoot due to the demands of his role. Overall, Shock Corridor's production involved unique techniques and presented physical challenges for its actors, making it a notable piece of cinema history. In Shock Corridor, hallucination sequences incorporate footage from House of Bamboo and Samuel Fuller's unfinished film Tigrero. James Best portrays a character with a psychiatric reaction to Dixie, a tune linked to General Lee. Best later pursued a Dodge Charger as sheriff in the Dukes of Hazard where the car named the General Lee echoed Dixie when its horn sounded. The film is part of the Criterion Collection, Spine 19. Shock Corridor marks the final film of Lucille Curtis. Director Cat Shee, a fervent admirer of the movie, turned down an offer to remake it in the early 90s, fearing she might not do justice to what Samuel Fuller accomplished. Before working on the film, Evans, one of the actors, engaged in a bar fight, resulting in a broken finger. Fuller, the director, objected to Evans wearing a splint on set, leading Evans to perform without it. 
leaving his finger permanently bent. Fuller's response, that's what you get for fooling around, showed his appreciation for Evans' dedication. The movie originally had working title Straightjacket and The Long Corridor. In an early scene, Dr. Minkin mentions that Johnny started as a copy boy on a newspaper at age 14, which mirrors director Samuel Fuller's own beginnings. In the psychiatrist's office, Dr. Fong has portraits of Sigmund Freud and Carl Jung on his wall. Shot Corridor is a film that delves into the complexities of the human mind, showcasing the journey of Johnny as he goes undercover in a mental institution to solve a murder and win a Pulitzer Prize. Directed by Samuel Fuller, the movie provides a gripping narrative that explores themes of sanity, identity, and the consequences of obsession. Through its intense storyline and thought-provoking characters, Shot Corridor captivates audiences with its raw portrayal of the human psyche and the lengths one would go to for fame and recognition. The film's use of black and white cinematography adds to its gritty atmosphere, emphasizing the stark realities faced by the characters. Overall, Shot Corridor is a compelling exploration of the darker aspects of the human condition, leaving a lasting impact on viewers long after the credits roll. Director Samuel Fuller persuaded his longtime friend Gene Evans to take a role in the film, citing his unique suitability for the part. Evans committed to the project, even continued despite sustaining an injury before filming commenced. Fuller, appreciative of Evans' dedication, allowed him to proceed despite the injury. The movie was filmed swiftly, completed in just 10 days, all within a single set without any outdoor scenes. These elements contributed to the distinctive style and efficiency of the production. In 1963, Shock Corridor unfolded a tragic reality within its narrative. The film, directed by Samuel Fuller, delves into the dark and disturbing corners of the human mind. One shocking fact lies in the portrayal of its protagonist, Johnny Barrett, a journalist who feigns insanity to investigate a murder within a psychiatric institution. In his pursuit of truth, he succumbs to the harrowing effects of the asylum environment, blurring the lines between reality and his undercover role. The tragic element of the movie extends beyond the screen. The relentless exposure to the mentally unstable milieu during the filming took a toll on the cast and crew, impacting their emotional well-being. This somber undertone adds a layer of reality to the film, highlighting the toll such intense roles and settings can have on those involved in the production. Furthermore, the film confronts the stark societal issues of its time, including racism, Cold War paranoia, and the struggles of the mentally ill. Each character becomes a vessel for societal commentary, emphasizing the grim facets of human existence. In conclusion, Shock Corridor transcends the conventional boundaries of storytelling by plunging into the depths of despair and societal turmoil. It serves as a stark reminder of the consequences one may face when immersing themselves in the unsettling realities they seek to expose.